Now let us proceed to the last kingdom, Kingdom Animalia. So previously, we already discussed kingdom, two kingdoms under domain, uh, domain bacteria and domain archaea bacteria. Then we discuss the kingdoms under domain Eukarya which are kingdom protista, kingdom fungi, kingdom plantae. And now, we will be discussing kingdom animalia. So, kingdom animalia, uh, the animals here differ in size and shape. Small ones have few cells, while big ones can live children of cells. Some animals can live inside other animals. Others are found in fresh or marine waters and some in every habitat on land. They produce either sexually or asexually. These organisms are eukaryotic and multicellular. Now, let's discuss first kingdom animalia, those that are invertebrate. Okay, so, two groups kasi ang, ang kingdom animalia natin. Yung mga may uh, backbone and yung mga wala. So, dun muna tayo sa invertebrate. Mga walang backbone. Well, vertebrates are those with backbone. So, invertebrate first. Under kingdom animalia, these are the following invertebrate. So, pag pinaliit natin yung kingdom ang sunod nun ay phylum so these are the different phylums under kingdom animalia sa so, mga invertebrates tayo ha? so phylum porifera so ito yung kinabibilangan ni spongebob so sponges the simplest animals under the kingdom animalia invertebrate Sponges live in shallow and deep oceans. The young of sponges are motil, ibig sabihin pagbata pa lang gumagalaw, while adults are attached to solid materials like rocks. So, pag matanda na, kumakabit na sila sa mga rocks. The body of hard sponge is supported by skeleton, ang tawag spicules, made of either glass silica or calcium carbonate. So, matigas. Yan yung structure niya. Now, may kita natin. May mga spicules. Okay. Tapos, yung daluyan ng water niya. Yung bunganga. Yan. Kapag bata pa, no, gumagalaw yung mga yan. Pero, pag matanda na, nakadikit na sa rocks. Next, phylum ni Darians. Yung mga members under this phylum are animals whose tentacles contain stinging cells called nematocysts. So, may mga tentacles to mga to. Uh, these poison-filled structures are used for defense. Defense mechanism nila yun, yung poison. And also to capture their prey for food. So, para may makain sila. So, yung mga examples ito are jellyfishes. Ayan, phylum ni Darian yan. Corals and hydra. Ayan, yung mga itsura nila. May mga tentacles sila na may mga poison. Okay? And these are their uh, reproduction na um, cycle nila. Ganyan yung itsura. So, meron silang mode na kung saan asexual reproduction and then biglang nag-sexual reproduction. Okay? Then, the cycle goes uh, pa ulit-ulit. Next, phylum platyhelminthes. In Greek, platys means flat. So, they are flatworms. Hel means means worm. So, flatworms. They are flat and ribbon-like organisms. Flatworms are found in fresh water, in wet places, and marine water. Examples nito yung mga free-living or 
non-parasitic worms. Meron din naman mga parasitic tulad ng flux and tapeworm. So, basta flat. Okay? Flat worms yun. Ayan. So, iba-iba, no? Nakikita natin yung utak nila, yung nerve cord, pero hindi naman talaga yan yung talagang spinal cord. And then, sa isang katawan, nandun yung ovary, nandun yung testes, may penis, ayan. So, ganun yung ano nila, structure sa katawan. And they come in different colors. Next, phylum nematoda. Okay, they are known as roundworms. Roundworms are also known as nematodes. They have long cylindrical and slender bodies. Some roundworms are free living while others are parasites. So, parasites sila, no? Sa mga animals and plants. Free living ones are important as they are decomposers in soil, in both marine and fresh water. So, nakakatulong tong mga roundworms na to, yung mga free living, ha? hindi yung mga harmful, bilang decomposers. Okay? Examples nun are trichina worms, sucworms, minors, ascaris. Ay, yan, yung mga yan, yung mga ascaris, ganyan. Uh, medyo harmful na yan. Okay, mga ascaris, hook, hookworms, mga examples yan, yung mga roundworms. Ayan, ang itsura nila. So, ganyan kapag male, may testis, sperm duct, then pag ovary, ganyan. Okay, may uterus din sila. Ayan. So, iba-iba yan, no? May free living, may harmful. Yan yung mga uri ng roundworms. Kanina flat, ito naman round. Next, phylum anilida. Also known as anilids, these animals are characterized by segmented or repeated body parts. So, napuputol-putol. Okay? Or paulit-ulit yung body parts nila. This makes them move easily and with flexibility. Anilids are mostly found crawling in moist soil or swimming in sea or fresh waters. So, dun sila lumalang eh. Example nun, earthworms. Pilochites and leeches, yung mga linta. Okay, under sila ng anlida. Ngayon yung itsura nila, repeated body parts. No? Nacha-chop-chop. Tapos, ganun ulit yung itsura. Ayan. Mga itsura nila. Next, Phylum mollusk or mollusca. These are soft-bodied invertebrates with most of them covered by a shell. Pero yung loob nila malambot. Okay? So, si Gary, yung snail sa Spongebob, mollusk yun. Okay? They have complex respiratory, reproductive, circulatory, digestive, and excretory system functioning together for survival. So, akala mo yun sa mga maliliit at malalambot na bahagi ng katawan nila, meron silang uh, complex system. Uh, they have three body parts, yung paa nila, muscular foot for locomotion, mantle that produces the shell, and the visceral mass, ito na yung laman loob nila. So, example nyo yung mga snail. Ayan. Ayan. Yan ang under ng molluska. Okay? Mga snails, uh, mga clams, bivalves. Bivalves yung two shells. Univalve yung isa lang, no? Andyan din yung nautilus. Ito yun. Then, ito yung mga suso. Ayan. Next, phylum echinoderms. All echinoderms are found in marine environment. Parts of most echinoderms are jade from the center of the body. So, they have spines which are extensions made by hard calcium. So, yung skeleton nila, ang tawag endoskeleton. Ano mga examples yan? Si star, si urchin, so si Patrick dito pala, no? Sandala, si lily, si cucumber. Ayan. Uh, unique to echinoderms is the presence of water-filled tubes that spread out to form tube feet. Okay, so makapit yung tube feet nila. 
Tube feet are used for getting food, moving around, and gas exchange. These are the examples. No? Ganyan itura ng sea stars, brittle stars, sea urchin, sun dollar, sea cucumber, mukhang cucumber, and crinoid. Sea urchins are important to coral reefs because they consume algae that otherwise overgrow and can kill the corals. So, maganda yung may sea urchins tayo. No? Pero, madalas uh, kinukuha yan, binibenta. Uh, sea stars are predators to corals. Okay? So, uh, posing a threat to the existence of the coral reefs. Pero, in a large amount yun. But, overall, uh, meron pa rin siyang role na ginagampanan sa ating marine environment. Yan ang mga itsura. Ang gaganda nila, di ba? Next, phylum arthropoda. Arthropods have exoskeleton. Kanina, may endoskeleton. Ito naman, yung arthropods. Exoskeleton. So, matigas-tigas to. This is made up of chitin and varies from thin and flexible to thick and hard exoskeleton. Arthropods are grouped based on type of exoskeleton. So, the number of body sections, yung pagkakati ng katawan nila, and mga appendages or mouth parts. Appendages may be used for avoiding predators, getting food, walking, or swimming. So, maraming gamit. Ano example ng arthropods? Mga arachnids, crustaceans, millipedes, centipedes, and insects. So, ang dami, no? Arachnids, meron siyang dalawang body section with four pair of legs and mouth parts called chelicerae and pedipalps. Yun yung mga body parts ng arachnids. They also have book lungs, book lungs to respire. So, dun sila humihinga. Ano example nun ng arachnids? Mites, sticks, scorpion, horseshoe crabs. While crustaceans naman, they have hard exoskeleton and have mandible to bite and grind food. So, matigas yung mga panga nila. Example, water fillies, crabs, yan, shrimps, lobsters, and barnacles. Insects. They form the largest group among arthropods. They have three body sections, three pair of legs, a pair of antenna, and one to two pair of wings. Example, butterflies, bees, grasshopper. So, itong mga subgroups ng phylum arthropods na to, mga class na. Okay? Kasi yun yung sunod sa hierarchy. Okay? Phylum then classes. Next, millipedes and centipedes. Close relative of insects. Okay? Pero hindi insect ang millipede and centipede. Close relative. Uh, para silang mga long worm segmented bodies. They have a pair of antenna and each segment bear pair two legs. So, sa bawat hatian may pares ng mga legs. Millipedes have two pair of legs per segment and roll up when distributed. They feed on decaying matter. So, very important pa rin ginagampanan tong kulay na millipede. Pag centipede naman, ah, uh, isang pair lang ng legs kada segment. Okay, so, mas madami pala yung millipede na, pe, na legs kaysa sa centipede. Uh, centipedes have venom containing claws and feed on earthworms and even other arthropods and animals. So, ganun katindi si centipede. No? Maliit lang siya pero nangangain siya ng kapwa niya. Ayan, mga examples. Okay. Ito pa. Yan. Ito, ano to? Um, centipede. Ito, millipede. Ayan, ito naman yung mga spiders, no? Walo yung mga ano nila. Uh, ito naman yung mga lobsters, no? Ayan yung mga examples ng mga arthropods. Now, moving on. Ah, ito pa pala. Yung mga insects. Ano, madami yan. So, that ends our topic about kingdom animalia in vertebrae. Okay. Once again, we will talk about kingdom animalia, but this time, vertebrae. So, again, kingdom animalia, the animals here differ in size and shape. Small ones have few cells, while big ones have 
trillions of cells. They can live inside other animals, but others are found in fresh or marine waters and some in every habitat on land. They produce either sexually or asexually. These organisms are eukaryotic and multicellular. So, hindi sila single cell, ah? multicellular, kasi complex na tong mga to. So, again, we have two groups, invertebrate and vertebrae. We are done with invertebrate. Okay, so this time vertebrae, meron silang backbone. Phylum chordata. Animals belonging to phylum chordata have four characteristics that are present in any of the stages in their life cycle. First, they have notochord, the dorsal hollow nerve cord, gill slits, and post-anal tail. In many chordates, notochord later become the backbone. Ayan, doon na nag-evolve yung notochord, nagiging backbone. Vertebrates. Uh, most vertebrates are sea and land dwellers. Notochord is re replaced by backbone, kinalaunan. The nerve cord is enclosed by a projections of the vertebrae. The, protect, the protected nerve cord enlarges at the anterior end uh, to the anterior end and to develop into the brain. So, yun yung end point niya. No? Uh, yung cord na yun, di ba yung sa likod natin, mahaba yan, hanggang brain nakakabit. The tail can be the bone and muscle that animals use for swimming in aquatic species. So, madaming uri ng buntot, no? Yung sa mga fish, ginagamit yun for swimming. Okay? Uh, for some vertebrates, the gill slits remain till the adult stage. So, may mga gills yung iba hanggang adult. In others, these are modified into structures for gas exchange. So, para makahinga sila sa water, uh, modified yung kanilang mga gills. Yun yung nagsisibing lang sila. So, let's move to class of fishes. I mean, phylum. Okay? Uh, these are vertebrates found in salty, fresh, cold, or even hot water. Most uh, have scales for protection, paired fins for the movement, and gills for gas exchange. So, napaka halaga ng gills, no? Para makainga sila. They are cold-blooded because their body temperature changes when environment uh, temperature changes. So, madali silang mamatay kasi di sila nakaka-adapt pagod sa environment. Okay. So, let's move to classes. Sabi nga natin, after ng phylum, ah, maliit na um, classification niya under ng phylum is class. So, class agnata. These are jawless fishes. Examples are lampreys and hagfishes. Yung lampreys, parasite yon na may mga ngipin na tusok-tusok, naka-attach sa body nila yung ibang isda, and they feed on their tissues and blood. Diba? Ganun sila. Ayan, may itsura nila, diba? Parang nananakmal talaga. Next, class chondrichthys. They are cartilaginous fishes. Okay? Chondry means cartilage. So, they have skeleton made up of soft, flexible, protein material called cartilage. Most cartilaginous fishes are covered with a tough, sandpaper-like skin due to the presence of tooth-like scales. Ano example nun? Mga rays, skates, and sharks. Ayan ang itsura nila. Next class, Oschictis. These are bony fishes. Kanina, yung fish na nauna uh, cartilaginous fishes. Dito naman, bony fishes. Okay? Ostro. Ostic. Uh, bone. Ibig sabihin nun. These are the fishes that have endoskeleton made up of hard calcium material called bone. Uh, mat so, matigas-tigas yung kanilang mga cartilage. No? Talagang uh, yun ang kanilang buto or backbone. Examples are bangus, tuna, seahorse, globe fishes. Ayan. Ang cute mga seahorses, no? And, um, iba-iba yung kanilang itsura, pero maganda yung ginagampanan nila sa isa't isa. Kasi yung 
yung father yung nagki-carry nung mga ano nila young okay next is class amphibians so amphibian means double life they can live uh, in water and partly on land mostly small shell-less eggs surrounded by jelly-like substances in most places or in water so dito nawawala yung tail nila para ma-develop yung lungs and legs to move on land but close to water so yung transition na yun nakakapag, nakakapunta sila sa land pero dapat malapit sa tubig pa rin para mabilis silang bumalik they have moist skin to help the lungs for gas exchange while in dry land example, Sicilian, salamanders frog, toads ayan yung Sicilian and then, ito yung mga frog ito yung toad, so makita natin yung difference ng toad, no? iba yung structure nya, medyo rough ayan, salamanders ganyan cute yung mga salamanders no? iba iba color next class reptilia so these are reptiles they lay the egg with shells to protect them from drying they also have smooth and rough scales for protection from loss of body water so ito yung mga itlog nila may shell no na nababasag talaga example lizards, snakes, crocodile alligator mga turtles and tortoises ayan ang mga itsura nila ayan pa nagkaiba ng alligator sa crocodile no yung ano nila yung gilid ng mouth tusok-tusok sa crocodile sa alligator smooth pag turtle and tortoise ito naman sa baba ayan no yung itsura nila and then ito yung mga lizard ganyan sa taas next class aves aves means birds so they are adapted to fly Characteristic that enable them to fly include number one, dapat may wings, may feather, large flight muscle in breast. Tapos, may sure may breast bone. Tapos reduce weight para makalipad. Birds have bills or beaks, matoka. Eggs with shells and legs are covered with scales. Body temperature remains the same despite varying environmental temperature due to feather insulation so napakalaga na may feather pala sila no? si insulator ni Leon so examples are eagle, hummingbird mockingbird, seagull, etc ayan mga itsura nila kukit nung iba no? Ay, may mga parrots pa pala dito next class mamalia these are mammals belong tayo dito mammals differ from other animals because they have mammary glands that produce milk to nourish their young and most have hair or fur they breathe in air they have four chambered hearts and are warm bodied animals most of them also give birth to the live young and take care of them so nanganganak din sila at ano yun uh, buo hindi itlog pero yung iba may ganun no? naglilay ng egg Examples are monotremes, marsupials, and eutherians. Ayan. Eh, yung mga nasa left side, ay, yung itsura ng marsupial. Eh, may mga mole, may mga glider. Ayan. Kapag eutherian mammals naman, mga deer mouse, mole, flying squealer, marsupial, mga bumba, Tasmanian devil, kangaroo, and eutherian animals ulit mga woodchuck, wolverine and what's this one? mga cavi and of course um, ang ating dolphin yan, mammals yan pag monotremes naglilay sila ng egg okay, sino yung mga yung platypus mga ano <coughs> mga what's this? echidna ayan may mga kangaroo, wallaby so, iba-iba yan, mga yan uh, they are called monotremes why? because they lay eggs similar to those of birds example, na mga naglilay ng eggs 
tulad sa birds are spiny anteaters, duckbill platypus. So, pag sinabi nating marsupials naman, sila yung pouch mammals. Uh, they give birth to live young. They keep it inside the pouches. Doon na sinusoksok and are nourished with milk from the mammary glands of the mother. Example, koalas, kangaroos, wombats, and palangers. And last, mga uterians. These are placental mammals. So, dito na tayo belong, no? Kasi may placenta tayo, mga girls. They bear fully developed young inside mother's uterus. So, matagal, 9 months, usually pag sa tao. Uh, these young are attached to the placenta through which they receive nourishment and they are born. So, sumisiksiks wala sila doon para makareceive sila ng uh, nutrients hanggang sa may ipanganak sila. Ano example nun? Uh, bat, rat, squirrel, rabbit, armadillo, whales, dolphin, dugong, elephants, dog, cat. Mostly yung mga common na nakita natin. Yung bear, ay sa ibang bansa yan. Horses, zebras, monkeys, apes, human. Diyan na tayo below. Okay? So, this end my discussion about kingdom, animalia, vertebrae.